Hi everyone, it's Angela here, Nerfenstein, and I'm doing my first response video. Yay! What's a response video? Well, it's a video in response to someone else's video on YouTube. And that guy is my good mate Dave over at Nerds of Wisdom. Now Dave, like me, loves board games. And he recently did a video that was all about his favourite two-play games. Ta-da! The start of Dave's video made me laugh. Let me put a little bit of it up here now so hey, you can it's my see place. it. Tonight. Yeah, you're off to the football. No, that'll be good. Yeah, excellent. Oh, here it's going to be a great game. Oh, game's place. My place. Tonight. Are you up for it? You're in Western Australia. How long have you been in Western Australia for? Lee, game's place. My place. Tonight. You up for it? No, no, that's... No, look, I'm sorry. That's completely my fault. I'm... Sorry about that, look, uh, my condolences. Now I'm extremely lucky at home because my partner plays two play games with me quite often, despite not being into the hobby. It is hard to get a game group together. I mean, a lot of people in my family play board games, but we're all doing different things at different times. We've got work, um, other commitments. So it is hard to get a group together. Thus Dave's amazing video there. Like Dave's list, mine isn't a definitive list. But these are rather the two player games or games that work well with two players that um, I love. And yes, Dave and I have got some crossover. I'm not going to cover the rules, more how much fun these games are and why. So let's go. Now, the first game on um, Dave's list is actually one of my favorite games Lost Cities, the original card game. Lost Cities is a two player only game, ages 10 and up, playtime 30 minutes. And it's a hand management game, so it's based around cards. Hopefully you can see this here. And you go on expeditions as an explorer, traveling all around the world, trying to find um, artifacts for museums, making handshake deals. Um, it's a, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So that was on Dave's list. It's also on my list, highly recommended. Lost City is the original card game. There is a board game iteration of that as well if you like something a little bit bigger. Also on Dave's list is this little game here. I love this little game as well. Again, it's a two player only game, uh, Jaipur. You basically take on the role of a market trader, collecting silk and spice and other goods. Uh, get goods, sell goods. It's all about hand management. Similar to this one, but obviously a different theme. Um, and it's a nice little non-taxing game with some gentle back and forth. So if you like that with your partner, one's out of the gutters, guys. Come on. If you like a little bit of gentle back and forth to play gaming with your partner, you could do worse than Jaipur. Also on Dave's list, Seven Wonders Jewel. I'd have to agree with him. If you like Seven Wonders, Seven Wonders Jewel is great because it is made for two players. You can play Seven Wonders two players um, with a little bit of rule tweaking but this thing is specifically made for two player gamers brilliant stuff now from the big one i love this game it's one of my favorites for two players as you can see patchwork now it's a two player only game that sees players wait for it quilting a patchwork quilt um dave described this as one of those games that might seem a little bit dull because of the theme but it's actually quite magical really really clever little game works with a sort of a tetris setup so you have to buy your pieces fit them all together try to make a quilt with the least amount of holes making your little money or buttons to buy other pieces certain pieces make you more money brilliant clever little game and as it says here short playing time Really, really good designer as well. So if you're looking for something different, patchwork for two players. Just thought I'd go through the games that were on Dave's list, but not on mine, but still worth a mention because I've got no doubt that they're good. He's got good tasting games. He's put me onto a few good games over the last year or so. So here we go on Dave's list, Hive. Now, we're gonna disagree on this one because um, Hive is not one of my favorite games. It's an abstract tile game. But I know a lot of people love it. I always whine about Hive because I just do not get it at all. But if you're looking for a good two-player game and you like abstract, it's Hive. Also on Dave's list, Nirishima Hex. I've heard good things about that, but I've never actually played it. Next up, Star Realms, Dungeon Twister, Star Trek Fleet Captains. Oh my God, how have I not played that game? Star Trek, and it's a board game. What the heck? Anyway, I'll get to that at some point, I'm sure. 
and also on Dave's list, uh, everyone's favorite cold war, cardboard Twilight Struggle. Now the next couple of games I've found scale really well to two players despite not specifically being for two players. Um, and interestingly, when noting down the player numbers of these games and other games that aren't actually on my list to keep the video short, um, a lot of them are two to four players, so I'm not sure if that plays into the optimal player count, uh, but it did seem strange that most of them were. Starting with, and if you know me at all, it isn't here, but I'm going to grab it. This baby here, Pandemic. Um, I love the Pandemic games, and this one scales really well to two players. It's two to four players. You can play it as two players, or you can take on the roles of uh, two different specialists, making it the four players. Either way, brilliant. Everyone should have this in their collection. Even if you're not a big board gamer, highly recommend Pandemic. Next up, get your machetes at the ready. It's time for some Karuba. Um, I think I've reviewed this one. If I haven't, I will be. It's a really cool game. And again, scales well. It's actually for two to four players. And you can see here, addictiveness is the highest on this little thing that they've put on the back. And um, I thought that was a bit gimmicky at first, but it's actually true. Highly addictive little game, really clever tile lane mechanic. You go through the jungle, trying to find your way to temples, picking up diamonds and gold along the way. First one to make it to the temple, scores more points. Very, very clever, the way that this one works. Highly recommend it. That one there is Karuba. Two other quick ones, Raptor, you play scientists or the Raptors, clever little two player game, I might actually do a full review of this one, um, two player only, 30 minutes ish, ages 9 plus, clever little movement mechanic, a nice one if you're looking for something a little bit different, again, good designers. And lastly, Lanterns. This is not a two player game. It's another two to four player game. Beautiful game. I think I might have reviewed this one in full. So I'm not gonna go into it too much, but you can see it's a really pretty game and really relaxing to play. There is, there's no stress about Lanterns at all. It's just um, a fun game. And the cool thing about it is there's no downtime with Lanterns either because everybody's move affects everybody else. Great game, scales really well. That's Lanterns. I might do a, another video talking about um, the games like these that do scale well, even though they're not uh, two player games. But this is a response video. So I'd like to thank Dave over at Nerds of Wisdom uh, for the list that set this video up. Be sure and check out uh, his channel as well because his videos are really interesting. I don't know whether it's me because my um, degree is in behavioral science. So I love anything sociology, psychology, that kind of thing. And his videos um, delve into board games in a little bit more depth, with a little bit of um, academia thrown in. So I really, really enjoy them. Even if you're not into academia though, go over and check out his channel, Nerds of Wisdom. He's got loads of videos over there about board gaming, uh, really interesting stuff. If you want me to do any board game reviews or any anything else, as always, hit up the comments. I'd really appreciate that. And thanks for watching, folks. Do good things. Nerfenstein out.